I would like to explain the difference between the Beck and the Clark Zapper. The main difference is the uh, method of treatment. The Clark Zapper is more of a frequency device and the Beck blood electrifier, I don't really like to call it a zapper, is a electrical current treatment device that puts the electric current into the bloodstream at a very low frequency. Beck's frequency was 4 hertz, but anything around there will work. Is there any proven effectiveness between the two devices? Other than the testimonies, there's none for the heart zapper, and there is a number of studies that correlate to the Beck blood electrifier. Dr. Thiel did a study concerning the Clark zapper, and his conclusion was that it does not kill microbes. In this video, you should stop and read what's on the different pages because I'm not going to go over every word what exactly it says. This is what I think the difference is between the two. The Beck is like an army tank compared to the Clark Zapper. The Clark Zapper is like a little pistol. You want to really smash the microbes, use something very strong. Not dangerously strong. Don't get the idea that, ooh, it's dangerous. It's not. You use it according to the instructions. You gradually increase your usage time according to the amount of die-off you're experiencing. It's not dangerous at all. In the blood electrification patent 5139684, it says the electric current flow through the blood at a magnitude that is sufficient to render the bacteria, virus, and or fungus ineffective to infect normally healthy cells. The key word being render them ineffective. Whereas a medical study about the Clark Zappers shows that it did not kill microbes but it did help a little bit on top of changing diet and taking vitamins, herbs, and minerals. Beck touted the, the boast that it was able to uh, cure AIDS and cancer. And he had some uh, good examples of both. I wouldn't be extremist of Becky in saying that yes, it always cures cancer and AIDS, but I can see in some cases how it, how it would be very effective. In the case of AIDS, it's almost impossible to get all the viruses out, but I've seen I've had clients that continue to use the device and continue to stay well. And the and the lab test. <clears throat> It was shown that 98% of the viruses were made ineffective to infect the human blood cells. So there is some scientific backing of the device's effectiveness in that regard. And although we don't have the, the, the lab test results to, to show on, online, um, the uh, the videos showing Beck lecturing shows him demonstrating those lab results to different people, such as in this video on YouTube. There's more evidence concerning low frequency electric current against virus and bacteria. There's three studies here concerning effectiveness against bacteria. And there's one study here concerning effectiveness against two different types of virus. Since I've seen its effectiveness against many different types of virus, I've yet to see a type of virus that it was ineffective against. <clears throat> And in this study, it showed to be effective against fungus. And these are all available to, 
to look at completely at my website. What studies exist to prove Clark's bold claims of zappers being effective against all microbes and parasites? None. None. Zero. But the Clark zappers are like violently adamant about how effective they are. So, by everywhere. Theo wrote in a study that I am not at all certain that zapping actually kills any invading microorganisms. And if you want to read why I think that Clark was a scammer, go to this page right here and you read all the juicy details. But I don't really like to be negative about other things. I'd rather be positive about what really works. And I know the Beck blood electrophile works. I was sick for 16 years with a virus that caused chronic fatigue syndrome. And after two months of using the Beck device, I was cured. I still had effects of being sick for 16 years, and it took a while to overcome that, but I felt definite relief from the virus because it's something you can feel in your body because it causes uh, like an internal heat like when you're like when you're sick with the flu and so I made them and sold them and clients just continually rave about it actually the very first thing I sold was Clark Zapper and people did not rave about it and I did not get any benefit from using it at all so I just I didn't want to be someone that just used hype to sell things without really having the evidence to back it up. So I just stopped making them. There's other people that make them. I just stopped. I'm not going to be part of that gang. So that's all I have to say for now. Go to my website and read more. Thanks.